on today's Music Nerd, why I am absolutely head over heels about Spotify. Music Nerd. This week. Spotify released their iPad app this week, which, while not an earth-shattering development, is nice for anyone who, like me, had taken to using the iPhone app on their iPad, just magnified two times to the point of being pixelated and gross-looking. People have always been on the hunt for new music. The cassette allowed people to share new music with each other via mixtape. The digitization of music allowed people to skip the cassette entirely. These breakthroughs represented a revolution in how the masses discovered new music. And I believe that we are at just as significant a musical juncture today. When music ceased to be physical, when the age of the internet and computers allowed anyone to make and distribute in infinite copies of whatever music they happened to be into at any given moment, uh, the music industry freaked out, and rightfully so. What had been a hundreds of millions of dollars per year industry had the profit model that they had been used to since the beginning of time suddenly pulled out from underneath them. Uh, jobs were threatened, people got scared, and they lawyered up. And this has been the great folly of the music industry. Rather than putting their time and effort into accepting and adapting to the fact that music has fundamentally changed, they've put their time and effort into fighting an impossible fight. As the tools they've been using to fight services like Napster and Kazaa have remained stagnant, the tools file sharers have at their disposal have been improving at an exponential clip. Music is shifting from being something that we hoard in crates or shelves or hard drives uh, to being something that we're comfortable with just existing in the ether. Thanks. One way or another, it will ultimately become so easy to share music that the masses will ultimately expect open access to all music. And the first reason that Spotify is so amazing is that it's the first service to provide open access to all music in a way that copyright holders are okay with. Copyright holders are okay with Spotify because, you know, whether it's through advertisements or the $10 per month premium subscription fee, they're making money. And consumers are okay with Spotify because they now have a way to listen to whatever they want to without the burden of guilt of piracy. So Spotify solves something that's been a problem in the media world for a few decades. That's cool. Uh, but what gets me really excited about Spotify is that it's fundamentally changing the way the masses approach music for the better. People have always been most inclined to listen to new music when it's been recommended by a friend. But uh, back in the day when music was something to be purchased and hoarded, uh, if a friend recommended something that you weren't entirely sold on, you probably weren't going to drop 15 bucks on it. Spotify changes that in two distinct ways. First, and most obviously, you don't have to drop 15 bucks on an album to start listening to it. I mean, if you're anything like me, some of your favorite albums of all time took a little while to grow on you, right? Well, Spotify affords listeners the opportunity uh, to let thousands of albums grow on them over time that otherwise probably never would have hit their ears. The second way Spotify makes it easier to listen to music that's recommended to you by your friends is by making it easier for friends to recommend music for each other. You can literally just click on a song in Spotify and have it sent to a friend via Facebook or Twitter or email or whatever, or you can just stalk your friend's musical tastes without them even knowing. So what does this mean for music? I mean, that remains to be seen. but. I have a hypothesis. I believe that with open access to all music, people are going to become much more musically adventurous. And as a result, what dominates the charts is going to start to get really interesting. It's going to accelerate the sort of viral music phenomenon that we're currently witnessing with the whole somebody that I used to know phenomenon. I mean, that's an indie song at number one on the charts. We're going to see stuff like that start to happen more and more and more. As Spotify's influence over popular music grows, what's to stop metal or jazz or any other overlooked genre from suddenly going viral and dominating the charts? I don't know, maybe I'm waxing a little too poetic a little too soon, but whatever. In the spirit of discovering new music, I would like to know what your personal favorite album of all time is. Let me know, post a comment, and the ones that pique my interest the most I will add to my personal Spotify playlist, which you can subscribe to by clicking the link in the description. Anyway, that's all of the musical nerding out I have in me today. Uh, for a video on how to talk to your parents about Spotify, click over here. Uh, and for lots more fantastic musical content, click the Fuse logo in the corner.